ever wondered how zombie cells might be playing a role in diabetes? Well, you might be surprised to know that there's a developing area of research looking into just that. Zombie cells, more formally known as senescent cells, are those that have stopped dividing but refuse to die. Over time, they accumulate and can cause damage to surrounding tissues. In the case of diabetes, particularly type 2 diabetes, these zombie cells may have a significant impact on the pancreas, the organ responsible for insulin production. So, how does this work? Well, some researchers propose that these zombie cells could impair the pancreas's ability to produce insulin, the hormone that helps regulate blood sugar levels. This is crucial because a lack of insulin or resistance to it is a hallmark of diabetes. Simultaneously, senescent cells are known to secrete substances that can lead to inflammation, another contributing factor to diabetes progression. Moreover, these substances could potentially contribute to insulin resistance, a condition in which the body's cells do not respond properly to insulin. But it's not all doom and gloom. Researchers are exploring the potential of senolytic therapy, a treatment designed to destroy these zombie cells, potentially improving pancreatic function and insulin sensitivity. On the other side of the coin, we have natural management strategies for diabetes, which include maintaining a balanced diet, regular physical activity, weight management, and stress reduction. Additionally, certain herbal remedies and dietary supplements are being investigated for their potential role in managing diabetes. Now let's delve into the world of senolytic drugs and lifestyle interventions targeting senescent cells. While these are still areas of active research, early findings suggest that certain lifestyle factors may impact the accumulation of these zombie cells. Additionally, natural compounds with antioxidant or anti-inflammatory properties could potentially reduce the impact of these senescent cells. Some herbs and natural compounds such as fisetin, quercetin, and curcumin are even being studied for their potential senolytic effects. In summary, the relationship between zombie cells and diabetes is a burgeoning area of research with the potential to revolutionize our understanding and treatment of this widespread health condition. Through senolytic therapy, and lifestyle interventions, we could potentially target these harmful cells and improve the lives of millions living with diabetes. However, more research is needed to validate the efficacy and safety of these potential treatments.